Hi, my name is Chad Wunderlich, and I'm the training manager for Viking Pump. Normally, I'd be hosting schools at Viking or traveling out and visiting customers, but like you, I'm working from home and practicing social distancing right now. So, we're gonna try this via video. One of the topics I've wanted to tackle for some time now, but it's a little bit more complicated topic, is troubleshooting. So, we're gonna try to do this with a series of videos uh, to go through this topic in great detail. Uh, it's a difficult topic because it can take years to become a good troubleshooter. You have to be able to be very knowledgeable about Viking pumps, you have to be very knowledgeable about our customer systems, and you have to know the process and follow it. So what are the steps in that process that make a good troubleshooter? Well, it's going to be someone who goes in and asks a lot of questions. You want to get a complete description of the problem. That gets into that asking questions. You want to know what it is that the pump is uh, suffering from. The pump's not pumping is not a good enough description to be able to start going and making some uh, recommendations about a change. You want to make sure to understand what's going on. Uh, and part of that understanding what's going on is getting a full detail of the pump itself. Uh, what model do they have? Uh, what are the operating conditions? And when did the problem start happening? These are all critical to understanding the system and the pump and the history of the failure. Uh, and then lastly, just like a physician, you're going to be recommending some tests. You're going to say, okay, I see these symptoms. We want to confirm or refute whether that's what the root cause is. And by running those tests, we're going to get a confirmation that that is the root cause or is not the root cause and be able to proceed from there. What we're going to be working from, we're going to be working from the Viking uh, troubleshooting checklist. It's a list of symptoms that our system could suffer through along with some root causes. And we'll cross those back and forth to determine what might be causing a pump failure. So stay tuned for the rest of these videos as we move on.